What's up guys, oh my god, so sorry, I didn't realize that my video had run out of time, so I will just quickly explain what happened. So, all these Necro Gardeners are gone, uh, I believe you saw that I took control of his Zen mains, so on my turn I pulled Return from the Different Dimension, which was awesome, I uh, then brought out my final Dragon Ruler in title to the field, he had a Chaos Sorcerer, so I decided to attack with Stardust first, um, which... Uh, Basically, he used Necro Gardener, then I destroyed it with Tidal, went for a direct attack with Zen Mains, and uh, he uh, did another Necro Gardener. But basically, I knew it was game. And here's why. <laughs> okay, so Stardust Dragon will negate a Judgment Dragon's effect. If Judgment Dragon comes to the field, there's only one way, realistically, that Judgment Dragon's going to be able to stop me. Oh no, it wouldn't be a really sweet, because Judgment Dragon, even if he brings it out, if he attacks Stardust and destroys Stardust, I take 500 damage, then he can try and activate his Dragon's effect, nuke in the field. But Zen Mains would survive, and with Zen Mains' effect, I could get rid of his final Judgment Dragon, boom, to the grave, gone. He then knows that I've got a Tidal sitting in my grave, and a Stardust sitting in my grave, and on my next turn, Gold Sark. I get back that Blaster that I banished a few turns ago, so then I can bring him back, because I've got two Dragons, banish him away, Bring him out. He's got 3,450 life points left. 1,500 from my Zen mains. 2,800 from my blaster. 4,300 game. So it doesn't matter what that card is. He used his dark hole. Stardust would have negated his dark hole. It was a black luster soldier on both the beginning. Maybe he could get through me. He'd be able to get these. He'd be able to get rid through Stardust and Tidal, but not Zen mains. And also, next turn, if I needed to return from the different dimension, I could have brought back five dragon rulers to go into, like two Dracosax, and basically just have the ultimate defense and be like, come at me, Judgment Dragon, let's see what you got. Because the other thing was, I was trying to whittle down his life points enough that that thousand cost from Judgment Dragon would be impossible. So this was a really good duel for um, Assault Modes. I, I am amazed that I won. I thought I was under a lot of pressure early, but this shows just how strong this deck is, even against the best duels. I mean, this guy was ranked, okay, so I'm... 1,563, he was like 7,463, like, it was a crazy duel, and this just shows just how strong this deck can be in, you know, I reckon this deck could go top tier, if people know how to use it, I mean, I was sitting on just one assault mode, and I got it like halfway through the duel, and I still was able to pull off big plays, because you got your big eye, Stardust, other like synchros you can go into, and, like this RFP just kind of gives you an example of what I was running through, like I had assault mode, you know, the big eye was using it, and um, Crimson Blader, so this deck's really versatile, you know, Dragon Ravine was really handy with its engine, so this was an amazing duel, and this just shows you, you know, how strong this deck really is, so yeah, please subscribe to my channel, because I really want to show you guys more duels like this, because it's just amazing, so um, if you have any suggestions for maybe cards that I should add to the deck, because I mean, you've seen the deck profile probably, um, it's on my site anyway, um, but yeah, just any advice is always welcome, so yeah, Clay Dragon 29, son.